<laughs> now you know how to do this one. Oh yeah. Welcome to the Farm Truck and Asian YouTube channel. Where it is what it isn't. Have we left yet? <laughs> I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. Just open the next hill. Just open the next hill. Okay, going back in the bag. <laughs> 24 hours later. How'd it go? Well, dude, I was worried about you oh. because you didn't show up. I thought you got stuck in customs. They, for... sent, they sent me right through. Did they really? They, they saw that I was Asian. They're like, just, just get in here. Get in here. We need <laughs> your, your, your... Huh? Where'd you come through? They at? just let me straight through. <laughs> they let us straight through. Huh? Yeah, they did. Hey, we ain't here to cause no trouble. Maybe like you went are. straight on. So how long have you guys stuck? been here? A while. Oh, okay. Where did you come from? Well, all the way at the very end at the Qantas entrance, and then I just kept walking because I thought you guys would get held up. <laughs> huh? We made it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the bags. But it's been 30 hours since we left Oklahoma City. Well, 30. Was yeah. Exhausted. Not, too, Not bad. too bad. I'm sure yeah. we all. It's, it's, I'm sure we yeah, all. We probably are. Get some sleep? Not really. Not really. You yeah. get rest, but you don't get sleep. Yeah. You know? No, we're right. here. Let's go get our bags. Okay. Going off to the get the bags. I don't see farm trucks yet. Yeah, it should nice be ones. easy to see. Look for the nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Your one's got holes in the it. The one that's on fucking owns mine. <laughs> There's no foot traffic over here. Commercials. Give way. <laughs> give way. <laughs> give way to foot traffic. Look, that one's open, man. Let's go Ryan don't give a shit. He's yeah. you know, What's up, mate? Stuff it in here, baby. Look, he's got to walk all over the way to the passenger side of the car. <laughs> that's so weird. Where are you going, mate? Yeah. Let's yeah. go to the almost the last one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not quite the last one. Then go left. Yep. It's kind of where the other. The very side last one. Yeah, yeah, they're right over part. there. Yeah, there's yeah. a couple all over there. Yeah. Perfect. Come all right, mate. Perfect. Look, mate. Boy. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Asians out handling you. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> man, look at that. Man, he said, hang on, guys, while I whip this guy. <laughs> I waited. I waited. All right. Hey, not a lot of girth, though. No. no. Not a lot of girth. No, no. Uh, I, no. I got, I got good credit. I got good credit. Start that Yeah. That was taken. Sorry. Thank you. Bobby can't wait. I'm just I'm tired I can't of either, man. Let me out. I'm like a caged animal. I'm over it. Yeah, I'm over that. Oh, they jumped out the back. All right. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us. Look at us nerds. Look at us nerds. Look at that. Whoa. No, no, continue, sir. Continue. What is happening? This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. You signed the contract. Dude, the flies are very friendly in Australia. Even in this wind. Right? They can navigate. Oh, what is it? Like a 15 mile an hour wind? They can navigate and go right in your ear. It looks like a normal track, doesn't it? Look at that return road. Why's it got a ramp? Yeah, I don't know. Why's the, why's the return road got a pool in it? <laughs> what the fuck is this one? I like the stands. They're just a permanent. It's like the uh, Coliseum, you know. It is, yeah. Man, this thing is old school. And then they added the VIP, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The nice bleachers. Mm -hmm. You got to pay for that. Feels pretty normal from here, yeah. Dude, it's like um. What was that track that we went to in North Carolina? They had seating like that. You're right. It was just old school blocks. Right. We're gonna. We're not gonna recognize the logos or the sponsors. We're not gonna recognize the faces. We're gonna meet a lot of new people, a lot of new fans. Gonna see a lot of cars we don't recognize. Hear new language. 
It's going to be an education. This place looks expensive, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Looks like the first container's arriving. Is it the right color? Oh, it's the right color. <laughs> yeah. Is that one yours? I was not there when y'all dropped it off. The farm truck orange is ours. Everyone's jealous that you had the, have the nicest container. Is there any secret to how you actually got that container? Yeah, I made friends with the lady that's running this thing. Okay. You know, and uh, the one that we had was completely rusted. Okay. All the way through. Seriously, this is a true and story. It, it wasn't seaworthy. Okay. And she got that one seriously that's the yes that's, that's the, the story so you had a crappier container i had the worst one you did to begin with okay but it wasn't seaworthy at least that's what your argument was you know we were actually one of the last ones there and when we unloaded the farm truck mm -hmm. the lady was like uh okay everyone else brought a race car mm -hmm. and you brought a race car mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she just did not understand the farm truck at all mm -hmm. until i popped the hood okay and then she she was worried about it not making it through customs because the asbestos deal and it was old it was 1970 and i i just had to explain the whole thing to her okay it's a a wolf in sheep's clothing okay underneath race car on the outside farm truck a freak in the sheets and a lady on the streets okay <laughs> i get it all right guys we're at uh perth motorplex here in australia we just arrived we don't know what's going on um with the containers have showed up uh, we thought they would already be here they're not um everybody's jelly that farm got a new container i got the scoop on how he got it um so farm's gonna use the toily the toilo and uh and then we're gonna start unloading this thing so we'll return once the door is open <laughs> Look how nice that shit is. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Holy shit. Does the, does the truck come with it? Steady on the brake. Steady on the brake. <laughs> I'm like an expecting father, man. I'm nervous. He's going to see a baby. <laughs> All right. I am. I'm a tourist. So. Right here is a weather experiment. Oh, you know how to do this one. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna peek, okay. I'm just gonna peek in. <gasps> All oh, right. It looks empty. It looks empty. No, it doesn't look. It looks empty. Wow. I thought you had stuff in here. Dang. It smells like the truck. It kind of does, doesn't it? All right. Yeah. All Everything right. looks good so far. Everything's straight. The golf cart got a little crooked. That's all. Okay. Um, sure, it wasn't installed crooked. Maybe. Okay. Oh, what's this? <laughs> what is Here's this? our lock. What is this? Oh, your first call out. <laughs> <laughs> Who put that in there? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What'd you ask? Where's all the stuff at? Oh, yeah. right there. oh my. There's stuff and extra stuff right here. Oh yeah. Except the only thing is, is we don't have what we need right here. Uh, we need a, a floor jack to jack this thing up. And that's all the way in the front. So. Of the container or in the bed? Um, of the bed. So get to unload, Mike. I guess so. Uh, hang on a second. Let's uh, let's see if we can lift this up in a way, and then the wheels are chalked. If we can drive the truck over those over those uh, wheel chocks, then we don't have to nail them back down. And whenever we go to load it after this race, they're already chalked. All right, so we got the truck out, man. Um, Everything's good. So far, so good. Okay. Um, all the tires are aired up. They held air. Sure. Um, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> Dude, these are just desiccant bags. They're real light. Feel how heavy they are. They're full Jesus. of moisture. Jesus. Right. Hey. Instead of going to the gym. Yeah. There you go. 
Yeah, four. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're missing a mirror. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. No real uh, unintentional rust. She looks the same, man. No real surprises, which is a good thing at this point. Uh, everything stayed inside. Pirates didn't take her over. Um, uh, the, the containers arriving one by one. Ryan Martin's car, Murder Nova Small Tire AG. I don't know who's in the other containers, but Farmstead got the nicest one. Uh, somehow, some way, he ended up with it. That dang farm truck luck. Um, we're gonna just, just keep trying to cover this as it goes, but this is first day Perth Motorplex. We're here whether we like it or not. It's a no prep. Just a I think they got a little more scraping to do. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, James already ready already. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. <laughs> you gonna smoke some balls into the woods? <laughs> uh, I used to have some golf balls in oh. here. I was gonna let you go. So. All right. Um. They already have some dots. Okay. Well, I kind of like this um, this seam right here. Okay. okay. Which there's that right okay. there. Okay. Let's just see. Somewhere right around in here. A little forward. Yeah? Yep. Here we go. Uh, we grab that spray paint, both cans, please. I wouldn't mind going off those spots. I just want to see how far down we're going to be going. Yep. You know? Is that wheel accurate, relatively? Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly perfect, uh, but it'll get us very, very close. Right. Within inches. Mm, within fractions of an inch. <laughs> but it's for estimating. Yep. All these wheels are- Oh, really? For, yes. I did not know that. It just gives you an estimate. Okay.
How many feet are you? Well, I keep seeing these white lines right here. Okay. Okay. Like they marked it out before? Well. Oh, here you go. Someone's done it. Maybe it's in meters. I don't know. What does that tell you? That's 270 feet right there. Okay. <laughs> That more, that 335. That's why I was thinking that it was meters. Because the heat. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. Probably should have followed with the golf cart. <laughs> okay, these are probably wind lights right here. Okay. Yeah? Laser system? I say we take it from here back. Because then we've got a, a visual. Oh, a finish line. Yes. We have a, a visible line. finish line. Okay. Okay. You go, you, so you're at 660 right now, right there? Uh, yes, right okay. there. Okay. Yep. put a stripe all the way across it but since we since we borrowed their paint we'll mm -hmm. go get ours okay and uh and then we'll put a line all the way across all right well we got that portion done so uh, i'll tell you what we're gonna go ahead and wrap this day yep yeah and then that way we can uh but we got a lot done today we've uh perused the track we've met some locals went to a speed shop earlier um now we need people to race that's all we need so one day down um five and a half weeks to go <laughs> so all right australia we're here we're not leaving anytime soon perth uh we came we saw we've yet to conquer see you tomorrow all right uh i would call this uh day two yes no maybe so uh, i lost track of the days day two is good enough for me yep uh but it's uh the first day at the track uh we have a lot of work to do on the farm truck uh, we need to get the fluids back in it. Yeah. Uh, we have to tune it with uh, this new fuel mm. uh, because the fuel that we normally get is unavailable. And uh, and then we're going to be racing tonight. Yeah, I guess so. So this is going to be the uh, the beginning of our show, which is I know what they're going to call it. But we'll call it Farm Truck and Asian uh, Abroad. It could be the end of our show. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't know. Yeah, that's true. No, it's true. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a mixed bag. It's just us three here. James um, Boggs is here, yep. in the house. There we go. Yeah, so we'd be pretty pretty emptied. With the, our glass would be half full without James. Um, so we're unpacking. Uh, this is kind of a dual purpose. We're here to um, uh, donate some, uh, some merchandise to the cause. Um, we'll be shooting some of the stuff out of t-shirt guns and uh, doing some giveaways. And uh, we'll be at the track here supporting uh, everybody. But right now, a farm truck's goal is to get comfortable with the track layout, uh, try to figure out where we will be racing, who we will be racing, um, all the while trying to get this pit area set up um, like everybody else. Uh, we, we're able to, we're unloading everything so that we can kind of do a quick inventory of it all. Um, we got the golf cart. Uh, everybody's kind of getting set up here. Um, hello, hello. Ryan Martin pitted right next to him. Uh, they kind of got their trailers up and running. Uh, the Aussies are in in the house. They're going to get prepared. This is this is their track. They kind of have home field advantage here. Um, I'm just going to do a quick walk through of the pits just so that you guys can kind of get a, a quick idea of it all. Nova, Lexus here. Lizzie, she get that very small tire. I'm not familiar with it. Hi. Hi. Got Mr. Scott Taylor. Says it on the fans. Nice to meet There you go. He's in here. Doing it. I just don't know. This might be his nitrous car. This might be his last nitrous car. I'm not familiar. 
Um, we're setting up too. The wind's blowing, which is a good thing. Got Disco out here with his crew. They're getting all set up, glad as hell. Rob Roberts' team also getting set up. Just everybody's fighting against the wind. Um, looking both ways. All right, on the way back, this is the the Aussie side of the of the fence. These guys are look at that rig. That's badass. That's a cab over stacker, but a newer version. Don't see those too often. Fox body. I think they race on the right hand side. I'm not familiar with the with the car, but you guys can tell me. Still here. Howdy. I don't know what that's even going to be. Maybe a concession area? I just, I just don't know. Uh, that's cool. Trailer, look how tall that one is. Uh, another cab over stacker. That's cool. One of those. Yeah, so that's that's cool. Yeah, uh, old school Holden. I don't think that that was a, kind of a branch off of GM's brand. Uh, but I don't think Holdens are actually in production anymore, so they're becoming faster. Yep. All right. All right. Stu, can you start it? Okay, right on. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, guys, good to meet you, man. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's, here's our pits. <clears throat> Sam. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to get set up. I'll try to fill you guys in with what's going on. Um, we're here at Perth Motorplex. Uh, it's kind of the second the first day of racing second day at the track um cmp there we go all right i gotta get back to work guys all right guys it's uh it's day two well it's day uh, half day i think thursday was like a half day like Today was like, yesterday was like just testing, but they let in like VIP, stuff like that, right? Um, today is like the first official day. Um, uh, the gates still haven't opened yet. Um, the track officials are uh, they're getting to make their rounds, right? They're letting you loose a little bit in the beginnings, yeah? We're letting us let a lot, a lot. We're being let loose a lot now. Oh, okay, doing, good, good, good. good Everybody's getting set up. Here we go. Here we go. Crew's getting ready. Yeah, there goes Eric. We're doing all right, man. Yeah. Getting ready. Get it there. That's what's right up, there. bro. Yep. Everybody's getting sleep, getting ready. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Um, Ryan Martin's got a different Camaro sitting here. Uh, they'll, they'll, that's their story to tell. Um, this is a different part than what they brought, but again, I'm not here to tell their story. Um, we go, we're going to walk through. Mr. Mr. Rutz, Mr. Car Carey, Mr. Scott Taylor, and Mr. Mr. Pinky himself, and the Roberts crew right there. Yeah, looking good. Everything's Hell looking yeah, fancy. in Australia, Woo! baby. We have no, we have no choice. We have no, no. Oh, look at that. Little more door. That's pretty cool. I don't even know what it is. Look at that. It kind of looks like a, like a Chevy 2. That's a cool red. It's got some old school welds on it. Really clean car. Obviously not a, uh, not a drag car and, and probably not even a, maybe a mild street car. It's got a, it's got a radio on it. Looks like they did a little bit of work there. Really cool. All right. Oh, I, okay. It yeah, kind of looks. Like this is not a truck. It's, it's, this is a Ute. Yeah, we're learning. <laughs> we're learning the, the the words. We don't know the language yet, <laughs> but it's cool. It um, it looks like a, a mix between like a Ford Ranchero and an Impala, but um, what is it actually? It's a H. J Holden Ute. Oh, okay. All yeah. right, right on. Holden, yeah. yeah. Holden. Okay, which is a company that no longer GM. GM, yeah. yes, yeah. Which is sad, right? That they no longer are manufacturing cars, yeah, you know? That's it. Not in Australia. And she's not driving. All oh, right, it does, huh? And they're just rebadging everything. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, yeah that's, the soul is leaving some of the it car is. culture. It's, all mm. yeah. it's, it's just makes me sad. 
What are you doing? Another tow rig. Oh, look at that, a little more door. It's on a tire. That's cool. He's got a little ratchet in there. He's got a 2685. Couldn't get the 28 on there, but that's all right. Like that. That's cool. Fuel cell. This is cool. This one's for Ed. It's a holding four door, but it looks like it's a mix between a, a Nash and a 55, 56. It almost looks like a Ford Victoria front. Um, it's got the 56, 55 back. It's got the old school rallies. Pretty cool. But it's a, it's a holding. All right, guys. That was a quick little walk through. Last night we did some racing. Again, can't really show that footage. Um, it went well, I will say, for uh, America and the farm truck. Um, but we're going to leave that content for, uh, for you guys and Street Outlaws. Um, but for now, we're going to get back to it. Today's not really our day. Today is the first day for uh, the Outlaws um, to, to show what they're worth. And then uh, I think they're gonna do well. They seem fairly confident. We had breakfast with them this morning. Um, not everybody really knows what's going on, but that doesn't matter. We've been here before. They've obviously been here before. And today we're just gonna meet the fans, um, try to learn some language, and I'm gonna try to find a farm truck. All right, but yeah, today's the first official day here at Perth Motorplex Park. And uh, we're enjoying the weather. See ya. This is the no lead Australian nitrous fuel. Okay. Right? QM25. I just put a little bit in the golf cart. That's all we could get, right? Like it's, it's the good stuff here. Now, they say know? in Perth, it's... I, I don't want to stop you. I just, I'm just chatting and going. Um, but they say it's hard to... They say that's it? In the in the whole country? That's the best nitrous fuel we can get in Australia. Okay, in the only. Right? Which we did a little bit of testing yesterday. Okay. It works good. Okay. You know? Okay. Uh, we got some help from SEM Performance. That's right, yep. Sandro? Sandro. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And uh, dude, he went way out of his way to help us. Yeah. And uh, he'll be coming over today. He's going to help us again. We're going to make a couple passes today. Uh -huh. Might uh, pluck out a couple cars out of the crowd. And uh, this time we're going to race them on the track. Sandro kind of reminds me a little bit of an Australian Sammy Maloof. Oh, yeah, he does. Doesn't, doesn't he? he? Yeah. He's got a little Sammy in him. Yeah, He's very kind. Passionate. Very giving. Ready to go. Uh, and knows his stuff. He does. That's yeah. right. It's kind of yeah. cool. We the meet. Australian Sammy Maloof. <laughs> <laughs> Sandro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's, um, uh, it's uh, Sandro Maloof. Sandro Maloof. <laughs> that's his new name. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sandro Maloof. It's easy to remember. Yeah. Well, I'm just about to go for a ride on oh, okay. the golf cart. Okay. You, you want to roll? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I don't. Um, how did you do last? Without giving away too much, how'd you do last night? We can't give. We, we couldn't show any of it. You know. We did. We did well. Yeah. Uh, it surprised me. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But the thing is, um, you know, I don't think that they do back of the track racing. That's right. Um, and they're just not used to it. They don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they don't use water mm -hmm. for their burnouts. Uh, but everyone in Australia is a burnout master. They don't need water. <laughs> they, they know how to do a burnout. Yeah, we're not going to tell them how to That's do it. That's right. They schooled us. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, um, you know, we did the first back of the track race, what, 20 years ago or yep. something in Oklahoma City? And now, almost every track in the States, they have a back of the track race. Mm -hmm. So, what, it's awesome that we're in a position to where we can influence uh, and help our sport along. I agree. And hopefully, back of the track racing catches on in Australia. Yeah, yeah. that's true. You know? I never even really thought about that. Yeah, that, that that's this, enough. This is a, this is surprising them. Yes. That this is something we do. Yeah. And it is something you can get better at. That's right, that's right. Um, and hey, what? Guys like us always want to find something new to, that interests us to get better at and to That's wonder right. how yeah. these guys are so good at it. That's right. So, hey, you're going to teach them something. That's right. But it's going to cost them something. Well, they paid their tuition last night. But I'm we're not going to give them too much information. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold this. Yeah. You go do what you need to do, maybe. Yeah. I'll get right back.
and I'll give you a ride. You're a gentleman. Up the top to the merchandise shop. Okay. Where, where are we going? Just where that guy is there now. Okay. Yeah. Then up, the, up that ramp. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. Just a bit further. Okay, right there, yeah. Thank you very, very right. much. Thank you. Nice accent, right, by the way. Thank you. Yep. Where do the where do the public come in? Is there gates? Off the so I just passed the truck there. Oh, down this way. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Well,
That looks like Ryan Martin. No, it's yeah, fancy pack. Ah. <laughs> um, no, I I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm Take a look at it. Where'd Farm go? Hey, Farm. We're going to go look at the heli. Over here? Yeah, yeah. We're just going to look at the heli real quick. Okay. This is just for us. They're needing to get your lunch order before you oh, take lunch? off. Oh, lunch? They got like a fish and chips? Oh. Lunch order? They do. They have fish and chips. That's uh, all. That's burgers. all I need. Really? Yep. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to go take a look at this thing. I'm uh, I'm opposed to this usually farm. Yeah. We're making an exception for the show. That's true. Uh, well, Asian's afraid of heights. Yep. And I'm afraid of whiffs. <laughs> so, you know? It's a compromise it's, here. It is. It's tough. It's tough. All right. This is a... Uh, I guess I'm just not. Oh, let know. me explain. I don't this even know. is the R44 Raven 2, right? All right. It's how a much compact more, helicopter. How much horsepower estimation? It makes about 1,500 horsepower. 1,500 horsepower. Yes. Good guess. Good guess. There's, the, there's one motor that drives both blades. Mm. Right? Okay. And Coming how much do you think? The front, yep. It takes a lot of work to keep all this glass clean. Oh, don't touch that. Yep. It's got this screen here oh. to tell you about crosswinds. That's actually what it is. And stuff like that. That's 100% what it is. It's got headlights on it so you can fly at night. No pedo tube. And it's got a pilot. Oh. Oh. This guy yep. must be the pilot. Complete. Because when I said pilot, you look. Yeah, you know, okay. To me. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? Good. How are you? Yeah. My name's Swarm Truck. Yeah. Lewis. This Lewis. is Asian. 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 Yeah. How much power do you think it makes? Oh, uh, enough to get up in the ground. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. No. I was no making worries. a bunch of stuff up there. Yeah. It yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. Right. yeah. I'll go with that. You were okay. listening. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fifteen hundred, didn't you say? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fifteen hundred. Let's go with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That sounds about right. Is it? Is it a jet? No, it's piston engine. No? no? Well, we can help you with that. Yeah, yeah, let's, <laughs> make, let's make it happen. We'll modify it a little bit before we'll, we go. A little bit nitrous. Yeah. Okay, so we kind of have a rule, right? Um, before we get in anything like this, uh, we want to have a little conversation, right? We are already impressed that you know how to fly this, yeah. right? But I will get sick very easily. So if you start trying to impress us by doing whoop de doos and flying all and showing off, I'm going to puke right on you. Uh, okay? That's why we've got the sick bags for you. Okay, okay. If we'll you're you... showing off, I'm puking on you. <laughs> right. Okay? All right. And then, Deal? You can, and then we can clean it up together when we get Deal? back. Lock it in. Lock it in. Yeah, we're, right. we're already impressed. We're already impressed. Thank yeah, you, brother. Good. Yep, this is awesome. Okay. He's getting the GoPros mounted. Oh yeah. Okay. Gotta make sure they're tight. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty. How long have you been flying? Uh, about three and a half years now. Okay. Yeah. You so know what it is. This is his first time. Asia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, your first, first time, time yesterday. Up? Yeah. I passed yesterday, so I came back today. Hey, there's uh, always okay. a first. There's yeah, always yeah. a first, you yeah. know. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe uh, the snack bar sounds pretty good instead of the helicopter. <laughs> there's a snack bar in the helicopter. <laughs> you can watch there's it. Snack bar. Okay. Cool. All right. Am I allowed to walk behind it real right for the moment? For sure. Yeah. Okay. Just okay. while it's off. Yeah. Yes, sir. Why can't you step on this? Uh, so these are floats. So we can land oh, on the water okay. if we need to. If they would expand okay. that's right. That's, right. that's it. I'm gonna load this up, put this up, and then we're gonna go for a ride. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I only have 30% left, so we can't do a lot of this. Okay, pretty quick. Clean my lens, it's dark. Hey. <laughs> this is a busy place. <laughs> hey, young boss. Hello, hey. how you doing? I'm clean, how are you? Good, I'm farm, farm. Asian. Yeah. How's everything going? Yeah, yeah we're good. good. We're here to pick up some stuff. Well, we, we thought we'd come check it out, you know? What do you think? This is a great place. But yeah. it's kind of home away from home, right? Yep. Because we need resources, and it's hard to find it. So this is a busy place. I didn't expect it to be this big. I didn't expect this much stuff to be in here. Yeah, well, being a bit further away from America, 
you need to, we carry about four to five months worth of stock. Yeah. Because obviously if there's problems with delays, like with the last couple of years over yeah. COVID with the, um, with the delays out of Long Beach, yeah. that was, so okay. we've had to, so we're in um, what they call 2,400 square meters which is I think it's about 25,000 square foot. And then we have another warehouse exactly the same size, a bulk warehouse about a 15 minute, on the other side of the drag strip, 15 minutes from here. So, okay. we're, so we're at 50,000 square feet. Okay. All right, well, can you give us the five cent tour? Of course. Right? Or how much would that cost here? Five hmm. cents, so what's that, about $2? Two dollars. Yeah. 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 The two dollar tour, we'll about take Probably it. 10, yeah. We'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, Mickey Thompson. Yeah. Huge brand for us. Yeah, that's what we run. Yep, that's good. It's a, so it's just a constant supply yeah, you just of touch it. coming you just in touch and it. out, as you can imagine. So these are orders all packed, ready to go yeah. overseas. k and &E, Autometer, which is a fantastic brand for us. Oh yeah, same here. Yep, it's a, we've done Autometer exclusively in Australia for about 30 years now. So that's all I got in the farm truck, Autometer. And then Woolwood on the back wall there. Yep. And then we've got Aeroflow, which is our. Yeah, that's our brandy, which you guys would have seen at all the trucks everywhere. Yeah, we've seen it. Let's check. I cut my thumb off in a proper box, boy. What's up, guys? How you doing, man? Good. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Good to meet you guys. You too. B and M. B and M. Oh yeah. ARP. Which obviously is another fantastic brand. You need ARP to put everything that we have yeah, yeah, together. Yeah, it's got a credit. John and GM. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Velcro gaskets. MSD. You guys got all the good stuff. We sure do. We this is good to know, just in case we need some. Yep. And then along here we've got wire shock, wire shock BDS, and then crankshafts. So what we try and do is have good bit of best. Okay. So Cats, Kelly's, Eagle Cranks. Okay. Strange, which is another fantastic American brand. That's right. Power Master, J E and Cylinder Heads will have AFR, Aeroflow, okay. Eagle Brock, Rodis, wow. Scat Rods, Water Pumps, Diamond Pistons, Seal Power Pistons. What do all these parts go to? <laughs> 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 That's on the cleanup for today. I understand. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. we got you. Yeah. Indley, Cleavite. How do you pronounce that? Marley. Okay, that's how I do it. That's, that's how, how I do it. That's, that's how, how I do it. Yep. Okay, right. Yep, Marley is another massive. That's how I do it. They own Cleavite bearings and bits and pieces and then crate yep. engines. We don't keep too many crate engines here. They're all over at the other sure. warehouse, but so you can just bulk, come straight in. Yep. Buy a blueprint crate engine, and away you go. Okay. Then up the top, you've just got Proform, Phillips, Fisheries, Morocco, wow. Holly. Wow. You've got it all, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. Need anything while you're at the track? Yeah. We would have probably went for that deal if the Mickey Mouse was fired. Yeah. Why would you do that one? If they can guarantee it. But it would have been all for nothing. So, anyway, thank you very much. Yeah. Right. Now, I'll get him to get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is my customer, bro. Listen, I got this. You gonna sell him a turbo man? Yeah. Is that what you need? Yeah, we got, we got I'll go turbo. get it. I'll go get it. Let's do it, bro. Oh, here it is, right here. Here it is. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Turbo manifold. Get yeah, one turbo. Shove it in there. Shove it in there. Get it. Straight over the top. Here we go. One turbo hey, you manifold. You got it. You got it. Yeah. You want the three, manifold, right? Three U.S. dollars. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> we got it. Go. All right. What else do you need today, sir? Yeah. All right. Two nitrous bottles. All right, thank you. Nitrous bottles. Thanks Coming for up, stopping at Rock. Oh, nitrous bottles. There you go. Yeah, it's 220 pounders. 220 yeah. pounders. Thanks for coming to Rocket. We appreciate you. Yep. All right, now. Spin that one around. Yep, there you go. <laughs> we're leaving that in there, Bob. nostrils. No, we're leaving it in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's drifting. It's drifting. Yeah. It's drifting. Look at that. Four wheels turning. Spinning. Yeah. Yep. So that's kind of. Kind of the building. It's kind of this is this is Rocket. They uh, they're kind of a wholesale dealer. They took care of us though. Uh, they don't do very many walk-ins. They do mostly do like online orders. Um, and here in Australia, this is this is their safe haven for performance automotive parts. So um, they own a lot of brands, but they they took care of us this weekend for the farm truck and fuel. So uh, thank you, Rocket Industries, for taking care of us. Hey, Farm Truck and Asian here. Thank you for sticking around and watching our YouTube videos. Since you're a viewer and hopefully a subscriber, drop by our website, okcfarmtruck.com, and use discount code FNAYouTube to get 10% off your next order. It's our way of saying thank you.